County Executive Kevin Kamen signed the order along with representatives of local law enforcement as well as a group of residents with diverse backgrounds. I'm going to ask Chief Sheridan to come by. A packed room at the historic courthouse in Towson to see Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenitz sign an executive order. People are afraid. They're afraid to go to school. They're afraid to get medical care. They're afraid to report domestic violence to the police department. Marisol Johnson, representing Amigos of Baltimore County, says she sees it happening in the community. Parents that are afraid to send their children to school because they're afraid that their kids won't have anyone to come home to. The executive order focuses on two areas. First, Kamenet says police officers will not ask the immigration status of anyone they encounter. Baltimore County Police Chief Terrence Sheridan says county police officers are not going out and looking for people living in the country illegally. And if someone's committing a crime, it doesn't matter to us who they are. We're going to arrest them and charge them with a crime. And if it happens to be that they're here illegally, then that's another step in the process that we're going to take. The second part of the executive order focuses on the detention center. Anyone detained in our jail will not be held past their release date absent the existence of a court order signed by a judicial officer. Johnson says this is a step in the right direction. We have to create some sort of awareness so that the police are still okay, they are still our friends, that don't don't not call 911 when something's happening because they aren't connected with ICE. Kamenet says this executive order will give clarity and direction to police and correctional officers and give residents assurance and security in the place they call home. Kamenets is urging the General Assembly to take action as well. The executive order goes into effect immediately. Reporting in Baltimore County, Lacey Griffith, WBAL TV 11 News.